Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to create a custom report type in Salesforce. There may be many different situations in your Salesforce career that you may wanna create a custom report type. It's a relatively straightforward process and we're gonna jump straight into it. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to be in setup. So if you're not there, you wanna go ahead and get there. And the quick find, you can just search report and then we're gonna click on report types. Now it'll pop up with the screen here and it kind of gives you some details. So what is a custom report type? Custom report type allows you to build a framework in the report wizard from which users can create and customize reports. You will build custom report types of the relationships, master detail and lookup between objects so that you can, and then it gives you three options here, choose which objects to display to users when creating and customizing reports, define the relationships between objects displayed to users creating and customizing reports, and select which object fields can be used as columns in reports. So we're going to go ahead and push past this. We're going to hit continue. This is where your custom report types will live once you create them. This one was kind of created by default when I created this sandbox. Now to create a new one, we're just going to hit the new custom report type button. To start with, we're going to select the primary object. So this specifies what type of records rows will be the focus of reports generated by this report type. So they give an example. So if reporting on contacts with opportunities with partners, select contacts as the primary object. When you hit the drop down menu, there's all the objects here. I'm going to select accounts. Next, we get to give this report type a label. This can be whatever you would like. I'm going to put CRT for short for custom report type with a little dash in there. And I'm going to say accounts report. So custom report type accounts report. This is where you can add a description. This can be very helpful if you're creating a bunch of different custom report types and you want to know why you needed to create this. Maybe there's a specific new business function that you need this for. This is a great place to document it. Then under the store in category here, there's a bunch of different options. I want to put it in the accounts and contact storage because this is a primary object of account. I like to use kind of match up the primary object closely with where we want to store it. So I want to put it in accounts and contact. And then down here we have in development versus deployed. So if you put it for in deployed, that means it's available for use in the report wizard. While in development, report types are visible only to authorize admins and delegates. So we're going to go ahead and deploy this one because I want it available after I create it. Oh, looks like we do have to add a description in. I'm going to put NA just to push past this. Now, as you can see here, it has our primary object accounts listed. So here we can click to relate another object. So the report type will generate reports about accounts. You may re define which related records from the objects are returned in reports results by choosing a relationship to another object. To do that, we're going to hit click to relate another object. And then you can see it added in another circle here, the B here, circle. It offers us a couple options here. So A to B relationship, each A record must have a, at least one related B record or A records may or may not be related with B records. Depending on your business case, you may want to select the first option if you want to have like maybe accounts with contacts. That means it'll only pull accounts with contacts or you might want to count with accounts with or without contacts. I'm kind of going to make a report for that. So I'm going to go for the second option, but that is completely up to your uh, business use case or what you may be creating as an admin. And we're going to go ahead to the next step. We're going to hit save. Then right here, we need to select our object. So I am going to select contacts exactly what I was just talking about. So now we have the accounts and contacts related to each other. Now, if you're done creating, like you only want an accounts with or without contacts report, you would hit save at this point. But you do have the option to add another object in to relate to. To do this, you would hit the click to relate another object button, and then it kind of narrows down the records from here. So B records may or may not be related to C records. So we would select an object here, and it would be like contacts with or without opportunities, cases, assets, duplicate records, whatever you would like. I'm going to select activities here just so we can add in. And you can add in multiple object relationships into here. In fact, I'm just going to max it out here. And object limit reach, you can associate up to four custom or you can associate up to four objects to a custom report type. I'm going to remove that, but I'm going to leave in my A, B, and C options here and hit save. Now, as you can see, we have CRT accounts report 
Description NA created by me, report type category, accounts and contacts, and there's your status, it's in the deployed status. So down here we have all the fields available for reports. As you can see, we have 59 for accounts, 57 for contacts, and 35 for activities. You could edit the layout here, and you can add and remove fields from your report, custom report type if you would like to. I'm not going to make any changes to mine. If you want to preview the layout here, you can see these are the check boxes. Oh, these are all the fields that are available for each of the objects that we have specified. And then back here on the main page, you can see the object relationship. You could go in and hit edit. And this takes us back to the screen we've already looked at if you wanted to edit your custom report type or if you wanted to update kind of the labels here, you could change it there or change your deployed status. Now that we've created this, we can go in and create a report for ourselves. I have a second tab open here and we're going to go to reports. We're going to hit new report, make sure it's on all and we're going to search for CRT. There it is, CRT accounts report. We're going to hit continue and we're going to create this one. All right, let's update our filters. We're going to change this to all accounts apply and I want to open up the created date to all time so we can get more some more data in the sandbox. Okay, perfect. So now we have account name, full name and subject. So if you go back to your outline and you want to add a column in, you can see the account objects and the available fields. You can see the contact object and the available fields. And then you can see the activities object with the available fields is here as well. Now, with reports, I mean, excuse me, with filters, you could go in and add a cross filter and you could say accounts with, and then maybe you want it with activities, which I don't know if I have any in the sandbox, probably not. Okay, I got a few in here that do, so that's great. Um, and then you can add, narrow that down and maybe add an activities filter with the task, uh, true. So I want to see it. I don't, oh, they got a few here with the task as well. So we could add those cross filters in, which is great. I want to remove that cross filter altogether and we can add in maybe you want to look at something on the contacts, you want to look at the account rating, and we have a few that are warm. Uh, some of these have not been filled out. I added that as a custom field that I added in for a previous video. We can add in other columns as well, maybe looking at the activities, we want to see a status. You have to kind of be careful when you're adding in different object fields because it doesn't necessarily specify up here, but it's a great way to pull in a bunch of information from different objects whenever you create a custom report type. Let me know if you like this video, hit the like button. I really appreciate all the support. If you haven't done so already and you made it this far in the video, please hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.